YouTube Topaz Jace back for another daily review and this one is that T.I. Warzone and this is another politically driven track in which that had me questioning like is he dropping a full project based on such and yes as I did my research he got a project coming out shortly called Us or Else the EP where it seems to be all politically driven and such and I'm all for that man he's definitely talking some core cool things and you know for the last review that I had a bunch of people were kind of mad at me saying that you got to respect what he's talking about the message that he's saying and don't get me wrong one i respect ti as an artist two what he's saying it has to be said the message of us getting slaughtered in the streets abused by all of the people that's in this dominant society it has to go out and ti is in a position to do so man it's just ultimately ti as i said before cannot be the person on the forefront of doing this why i said that in the last video for those of you who did not watch it is because he had a federal gun case where he got caught red handed with the guns that would have carried at least 10 years worth of prison and he got out in 10 months. Anybody who knows anything about federal time man, you do not get out of federal time period unless you snitching dude. And that's something that cannot be at the front of this movement. Because here's just the reality of it. Martin Luther King was a felon. Malcolm X was a felon. Any black person that has rebelled against society and such ultimately went to jail. So here's the thing, man. Jail is something that goes along with this rebellion that he's trying to be in the forefront with. And since he's already proven to falter in the face of jail time, man, what do you think he's going to do if he gets knocked again? T.I. was once like my number two favorite actor in the game, man, and he's still going strong with some solid music to this day. But ultimately, there has to be a line here. Even as I I like this song, man. That production is rather solid, man, as he's taking the hands up, don't shoot from Mike Brown and combining it with that. It was gonna, I can't breathe, man, creating a pretty solid hook as he raps about a ton of all people that got unjustly slaughtered in the streets and stuff, man. I definitely like everything about it. And also, T.I. kind of needs to understand a little bit more history as well as you break down such things, man. Well, he said that, okay, Abe Lincoln would be asking where's the freedom at, and what you guys gotta understand, Abe Lincoln didn't free the slaves because it was the right thing to do. That was so that they could get the international trade popping because it got to the point where if you had slaves, you couldn't do international trade and you couldn't do international businesses. They would not let slavery get in the way of the money and such, bro. That's really what you got to understand here. But yet when he says things like the Constitution ain't nothing but a piece of paper, man, he's speaking that absolute truth because you're supposed to have all of these rights as a human being, right? The UN is supposed to be protecting human rights and such, man. But where is all of that as the human rights, the basic human rights of black people have been constantly taken away? And there's been multiple countries within the UN that question it, but yet the UN still does nothing about it. But this concludes today's review, man, and now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producers, the Hammer Brothers, before we take some of your You are listening to a Hammer Brothers exclusive. This is more than mixtapes. It's a movement. ultimately saying that they don't like how Hobson is being so preachy about that false advertisement track where he's ultimately laying judgment on all of these Instagram models and such and you know most people is looking at it like that man because they're trying to benefit from these chicks out here being Instagram models so that they can go ahead and get laid and all of that man that's why they all trying to be behind it but I honestly don't see the argument man just because he's 30 means that he's exempt from being on Instagram he is famous enough to be getting all of these Instagram models and such, man. He's famous enough to tell us the truth about what's going on behind the scenes and such, dude. Ultimately, I feel as though he's the right person to be talking about such. And this guy Ajax said that you just cannot comprehend the greatness of old sweatshirt. And I'm like, man, come on with that, man. You need to quit with that pole jogging and such. And he's like, man, it's that fire pole, though. I'm like, bruh. So you just openly admitted to you being a pole jogger? I mean, at least you know and you stand by it, bruh. But ultimately, I got no no respect for you. you are I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to downloadpads.com that's down there to read today's article.